um, bestie, <laughs> I'm having your boyfriend's son. Can you be the godmother? <laughs> no. Hey guys, it's Sharon. <laughs> So we're officially leaving summer and entering fall and around fall is when cuffing season starts back up again. So cuffing season is basically when you cuff someone. It's like when you get like a significant other and you're all cuddly through the cold weather and like you have the best end of the year ever because you found like the love of your life in the fall and you spend winter together and all that stuff and yeah, that never really happens. So this video I am exposing you guys as worst breakup stories ever and I believe this is a part two if I'm not mistaken. There's just so much failed love that happens on this channel through me through my viewers so who really knows we just have a lot of failed love stories and I'm very sorry but what's new anyways if you guys do want to see more videos like this give us a thumbs up and let me know by commenting down below also subscribe for more if you want to see more and follow my Instagram and my Twitter so you can be a part of these videos I decided to wear this very loud shirt because it has like bananas on it and bananas remind me of monkeys and monkeys are animals and that is what reminds me of exes because exes are animals so that's my thought process. Anyways, let's jump into this video. Grab your tea, your popcorn, your snacks, your whatever. Grab your ex. I don't know. Don't do that actually. Please don't. It was a joke. My girlfriend broke up with me because I didn't reply to her message because I was on a run. Did you tell your girlfriend that? Or is your girlfriend just a little bit borderline psychotic? I mean, if someone didn't respond to me because they were on a run, I would understand, you know. You dodged a bullet. Be grateful she broke up with you. Next thing you know, she dumps you because you're sleeping and not paying attention to her. Yeah. I told my boyfriend that I would be out of town for our anniversary, but really I was planning on surprising him. I showed up at his house and walked on him making out with my brother. I haven't spoken to either of them since. You know what? That's a new one. I was expecting him to be making out with your sister, your twin sister, your best friend, even your mom, but you said your brother. Holy crap. I guess your brother's not invited to your future wedding because he might kiss your groom. A guy broke up with me and we weren't even dating. Why do I relate to this on such deep and passionate level? Or maybe we're just getting that crushed? I don't know. But thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed my videos. <laughs> I bought my girlfriend chocolates, a giant teddy bear, and bought her a hundred Hershey kisses just to find out she cheated on me with my brother. Long story short, we're broken up and they're together. Listen, King, she doesn't deserve you. You will find someone who will love and appreciate your, what'd you do? Chocolates, Hershey's kisses. Those are also chocolates. You said chocolates and kisses, which they're technically the same thing. It's all chocolate. But a giant teddy bear? Come on. <sighs> She don't deserve you, sis, bro, whatever. You'll find someone who does. Me and my boyfriend were not going to be in the same classroom, so he told me just because we'll not be in the same class, we will have to break up. But I found someone better. I'm glad you found someone better because that is the dumbest logic I've ever heard in my life. That's like saying, oh my god, we're not using the same bathroom? I guess we have to break up now. What? Oh no, we have different classes? I guess this relationship will never work out because we have to be together 24 hours of the freaking day, apparently. You don't need them, sis. You don't want a dumb boy like that. <laughs> I was taking my boyfriend to meet my family. So when we got there, he met my mom, dad, uncle, cousin, and grandma. We spent the night there, but I went to the store to get us some snacks because we wanted to have a movie night. Turns out my cousin texted me that her and him made out the other day, but she didn't know he was my boyfriend because he said he was single. I broke up with him and blocked him on every social media. P.S. I love you too, and I am proud of you. This is what you should do to a Joey like that. Wow, shout out to your cousin for being honest with you and not lying and not going behind your back, and shout out to you for leaving that man. You don't deserve you. This is a whole video of people not deserving people. You should date the guy with the teddy bears and the Hershey's kisses and the chocolates, which is the same thing, but he sounds like a great man for you. He broke up with me after a week because I wanted to take things slow since it was my first relationship. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with wanting to take things slow, and if someone wants to break up with you because you want to take things slow, that person probably had bad intentions the whole time. That probably would have ended really, really badly, and you probably would have done things you didn't want to do because you felt pressured and then you would have been traumatized for the rest of your life and he would have dumped you after he got what he wanted anyway. So be glad he dumped you because he sucks. I broke up with my bed this morning. We'll probably be back together by tonight. Honestly, the only toxic relationship we support. We had a threesome and he's now married to the girl we had it with. That escalated quickly. Are you maid of honor at least? 
I think it's the least you deserve, if we're being real. He took me on a date, and towards the end, he told me that he's breaking up with me. We dated for five years. He didn't want to be my boyfriend anymore. I went running home crying. The next morning, he came to my house and said he doesn't want to be my boyfriend anymore. Yeah, we got that. He wants to be my husband. Oh my God. Who thinks to propose by saying, hey, I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. But also, he said he's breaking up with you. So before you're going to propose to someone, why would you say, hey, let's break up because I don't want to be your boyfriend. You should just say, I don't want to be your boyfriend. I want to be your husband. Why would you ever say I want to break up? Husbands, don't break up. What? They get divorced. You get where I'm going with this. My boyfriend of 15 years broke up with me because I was fat. He was also fat. You know what he was fat of? Crap. He was full of literal BS. On to the next. He texted me a Snapchat of his you know what, and it said another girl's name, and his response was, that wasn't for you. P.S. I love you too, and you know what my response would have been? This me is not for you. Bye. I went to the supermarket to buy some food for a romantic evening and got back home to find him in bed with my mom. I ended it with him and a year later he is now my stepdad and I have two younger siblings. FML. That is the biggest FML ever. How old is your mom? Did your mom have you while she was a teenager? Is there a small age difference? How old is your boyfriend? I'm very concerned. How old are these kids? This is some Degrassi type of stuff right here and I'm a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit sorry for you. He proposed to me that then dumped me a few weeks later over email. Did he propose by texting you? It sounds like this man has no, what do they call, um, cojones. So in reality, would you want to be married to a guy like this? How do you expect to deal with a problem you guys would have faced when you were married if you can't even say something to your face? A wimp. I was planning on breaking up with my boyfriend, and the day I was going to break the news to him, his grandma had a heart attack and died. I felt bad and comforted him for about a week when he told me he was moving away way, which I guess should have been a good time for me to break up with him, but he then kept going on about how distance makes the heart grow fonder. When he moved away, we still hadn't broken up. I started liking this other guy and he asked me out. I said yes, and when my boyfriend came to visit that summer, he found out and he broke up with me for cheating. I guess that's one way to break up with your boyfriend. P.S. I love you too, and listen, you know what? You got what you wanted, you went about it in a messy way, but I guess he learned his lesson, and I guess you learned your lesson. Never be too scared to break up with someone because it's gonna come and bite you in the butt one day. You may or not have broken his heart. You probably did. Actually, um, just rip it off like a band-aid. Just rip it off. Hits myself in the face. One time I was dating this twin guy and we went to a high school party and we both got drunk. Illegally? Are you in the States? Are you in Canada? Are you in Europe? I need to know. I was hanging out and saw his twin making out with another girl and I walked up and slapped him and broke up with him but one month later I was still mad but then I found out it was his twin. I love you too. So you thought your twin boyfriend was making out with someone else but in reality it was his twin boyfriend making out with someone else. Not his twin boyfriend, his twin brother. The only thing I have learned from this is that twins are a headache to deal with and, and I've learned that from Pretty Little Liars and I have learned that even more from your stories. Wow, never fall in love with a twin. <laughs> he told me he liked my mom. I love you too. All I got is good luck, Charlie. A guy broke up with me because I wouldn't send him nudes, but it's okay because the guy I'm with reminds me that I'm his princess every day. Yes, sis, it's what she deserves. And by she, I mean you. We are so happy for you, girls, guys, even. If someone is pressuring you to send nudes and you are not comfortable with it, if you are not comfortable with anything in general, you don't have to do it. You don't owe them anything. Put yourself first and your comfort first and your happiness first. That's all I gotta say. So kudos to you. He didn't even break up with me. He literally just stopped texting slash talking to me. This happened to me in like middle school and that guy and I never officially broke up. So technically I've been in the longest relationship of my life. I guess if you start dating someone else, is it considered cheating? You guys never broke up. I guess if I start dating someone else, suddenly I'm a cheater. This is why it's important to use communication, guys. Communication is key. And this is why. My boyfriend slept with my best friend while we were together. She got pregnant. They want me to be the baby's godmother. What kind of a twisted family? Hey, um, bestie. <laughs> I'm having your boyfriend's son. Can you be the godmother? No, I don't even want to see you. Get away from me and keep that child away from me too. So this is the last one. So once I had this boyfriend who came up to me and started yelling at me because I apparently gave him an STD. So he makes me get tested and I don't have an STD. Would you look at them apples? 
I was confused, but then three months later we were still dating and my sister gets tested and turns out she gave him the STD. I love you too. Apparently your sister doesn't love you, nor does she have any respect for you because wow, they both got what they deserve. You're gonna go cheat on other people, you're gonna get some nasty stuff. That is a lovely thing we all like to call karma. And life comes back around and again will bite you in the butt. So yeah, don't cheat, always get tested and always have your partners tested as well. Don't be a butthead. That's it. Pretty simple rules if we're being honest. Anyways, <laughs> if you guys do want to see more videos like this, give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And if you want to go ahead and leave your own worst breakup story, feel free to and we will all try to make each other feel better. Yeah. Shout of the week goes to Emma.ox on Instagram. And thank you so much. If you guys do want to be shout of the week, just follow me on Instagram and stay active. And wow, I never want to date anyone ever again. Like every time I just read your cheating stories or your breakup stories, I'm just like, you know what? Maybe being single is a good thing. It's fine. You know, it's okay. We'll just stay single Pringles for the rest of our lives. Whatever. If you guys do want to see more, subscribe for more. But with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.